cylindrical melting coils. There is a big variety of melting coils in size and design, but almost all crucible furnaces have cylindrical coils. Frequency range is very wide from line frequency for big furnaces to radio frequency for melting of small parts, precious metals, etc. Big furnaces usually have lamination shunts for parameter improvement, magnetic field shielding, and as construction components. Small, high, and middle frequency furnaces usually have no concentrators or shunts. Flux controllers may be effectively used in vacuum or special atmosphere furnaces mainly for shielding. To the right, we see a coil for melting radioactive materials in a protective atmosphere. Fluxtrol A shield strongly improved efficiency and power factor and allowed the use of a larger furnace in the same chamber. Multi-turn cylindrical or oval coils are used for heating billets, rods, and slabs for forging. Typically, they have thermal insulation, or lining, to reduce the heat loss and to protect winding from thermal and mechanical damage. Application of external concentrators does not improve parameters of long forging coils. Lamination shunts are used sometimes at low frequency to provide rigid frame withstanding electrodynamic forces and to reduce strong external magnetic fields. Local controllers may be used at the coil ends to control temperature distribution in the part and to protect handling mechanisms, like rolls, etc., from unintended heating. There are many varieties of cylindrical heat treating coils with different turn numbers, copper profile, concentrator presence, and geometry, and more. They are widely used for local static heating and scanning processes. Concentrators are the most effective on single or two-turn coils. They can help in achieving specified heat pattern, improve part quality, and increase production rate. <laughs>